Russ W. Oker, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS. Time for our fairway meet and grocery uh, final interview. The uh, the meet is over. The women finish 15th. We'll start with the women. The men finish 5th. And a lot of great things here, Coach Brent Ewing, joining us now. As, uh, we wrap it up, Coach. Let's start with the women. 15th at uh, a great season, and a lot of good things happen here in Monroe, Louisiana. Yeah, they really did. I mean, we had the highest finish we've ever had at an outdoor national meet, and that was even with, you know, leaving some points out there, which... Um, says a lot about the people who, who kind of stepped up to uh, to make up for some of those points that maybe that we, we, we missed in the women's 400. Diamond Nave had a phenomenal year. Um, the uh, transformation that she's had in the last year has been very incredible. Uh, Shanice Cox, you know, we, we've got some, some sophomores we're really going to miss between Adeline Robinson, Shanice Cox. I mean, they played huge roles on our teams this year. Um, the 4x1 getting third was was really big. Three of those legs are back next year, so I'm really excited about what we have coming back next year as well. Men's side, you capture the indoor championship, which was phenomenal, national champions. You come in here, high expectations, you finish fifth, highest finish ever for an Indian Hills men's team in the outdoor, and a lot of great things uh, yep. accomplished here as well. Yeah, certainly not, you know, upset with that by any means. I mean, obviously we wanted to contend for a national title. Um, as the year went on and we kind of saw what everyone had outdoors, we realized, you know, it was going to be a little more difficult. Um, there's some outdoor events that, um, you know, aren't contested indoors. So it took a little bit of while to kind of see what, who, who has what, you know, outdoor season. Um, but I was really pleased with how we competed this weekend. I thought, um, you know, there might have been a chance for us to, to sneak in a trophy and be top three, but... I mean, we had a lot of really good performances um, from some very, very talented sophomores. We have a lot of guys that, that we're going to miss that, um, you know, made a big impact on our program. Tyrese Taylor brings home a national championship in yeah. the in the 800. Uh, talk about uh, him a little bit. Tyrese is just a special kid. I mean, very, very confident, not in a cocky way, but like there's a sense of just swagger and, and belief in himself that he has that is, is very rare. Um, I mean, he's one of those one of those few people you'll come across that you you have no doubts about. I mean, I I knew he was going to win that race today. Um, I had no doubts, and he's just that talented. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how the race goes out, if it's fast, if it's slow. Um, he's that much better than everybody else in the field. So I'm excited for him. He's got some big things coming up this summer too. We're we're trying to see if we can hit um, the. Uh, the Olympic qualifying standard is going to be difficult, but he's got Jamaican championships coming up too at the end of June. So we'll uh, take a crack at a at a national um, championship and or national Jamaican national championship as well. And you get the uh, national championship four by eight team. Uh, yeah. You know that happened earlier in the competition. Uh, great performance there. Yeah, that felt great to to get that in. Um, you know we've we've kind of been known as the top 800 meter school for a long long time or the last four years or so but we hadn't gotten a four by eight national title we've usually used a lot of our top guys in the open events and, and hadn't put them in the relay and um, so for us to be able to get that done this year is our first uh, national title relay we've ever had um, that, that was big I was really proud of those guys those are all four sophomores too um, says a lot I think about our training group uh, that's just a really special group that we have this year our, our 800 guys and um, they're all graduating except for one, so we're, we're going to miss them next year. Yeah. <laughs> Got some work to do there to yeah. fill some big shoes there. Uh, Trenoa Folson uh, gets a silver medal in the 100 and the 200. Uh, great performance for him. He's, he's going to go on and do some great things. Yeah, he, he's a next-level type of athlete as well. I mean, just like Tyrese, he's he's just a special kid. Um, he's someone who's, who's hit the Olympic um, are the Olympic trial standards for Team USA. And he's someone you're going to be seeing, you know, contend for a Division One national title next year, just like we are with um, with Tyrese in the 800. All right, and it all wraps up uh, with, with some third place finishes as well. Really uh, a tremendous performance. The four by four, the final event would take second. 306.11 is the second fastest time in school history. So you can't be too disappointed there. A New Mexico team that ran their fastest time all year gets us, but second fastest time in school history is not a bad way to finish. No, it's not. I said last night, I said if we run 306, we'll win. Um, I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> I honestly, I knew New Mexico Junior College had three guys in the final of the 400 today, so I thought that would really take a lot out of them in the 4 by 4 and give us an opportunity. Uh, but hats off to them. I mean, they went out there and, and made it happen, uh, even though they they um, you know had that many races on their legs. But I was really proud of how we competed. Um, we had three guys on that relay that ran the fastest splits they ran all year. So, um, you know, we, we did, did everything we could have. 
All right, Coach. Well, congratulations. The women finished 15th. Highest outdoor finish for them as a team. Men finish uh, fifth. A top five finish first time in school history as well. A tremendous track season that included a national championship for the men indoor. Uh, and now fifth place finish outdoor comes to a close. Uh, Coach, congratulations. And we look forward to seeing what the future brings for Indian Hills uh, men's and women's track across country. Yep, thank you. That's going to do it for us from Monroe, Louisiana. This has been our Fairway Meat and Grocery uh, post to meet interview with Coach Ewing. And our coverage, uh, big thanks to Titus Lettering and Camille Hendricks for joining us uh, all week as well as we've enjoyed it here in Monroe, Louisiana. This is Go Hills TV, powered by JBS.